most four four classes completed the basic what is the purpose what is the what is the purpose of okay this uh, what we call rest api next uh, uh, what is the meaning what is the meaning of so just how you can uh, create class based view function based view sir how to send the get request how to send the post request from the python application how the corresponding get method these these things how they are going to respond like all the things are very clear for you people not required to keep any explanation right okay now here just uh, even the mix ins also correct even the mix ins also i covered already so what is mix in how we are getting code reusability for what is the how to write that mix in so in multiple linear tense how you can use that yes sir, these things also we discuss it right sir now the next thing what we what we have to discuss the next one what we require to, what we require to take care is uh, i want to perform crud operations by using api are you getting i want to perform crud crud operations by using api by using api how you can perform crud crud operations okay performing performing database performing database crud crud operations operations by using web api are you getting by using web api without the rest of framework remember this is the very important sir without the rest of framework without the rest of framework how you can perform how you can perform database crud operations by using web api without the rest of framework sir it's a very simple it's a very simple sir how you can do that that part i will take care so almost around the five to six sessions minimum we have to talk about this once these six sessions completed i'm sure sir everyone is going to get basic idea how api is going to work so if you if you wear this then the django rest of framework is nothing sir okay without the django rest of framework what it is doing we are going to do manually just simply by using django only okay so sometimes you know coding power i want to show that's why I take a bit very special care about the, these things shall we start the cinema friends can i go for that okay well here first uh, if you want to perform crud operations compulsory we have to go for model class correct or not model class in the django how you can do how you can develop model class you know right okay first model class must be required okay for that let me go for a new project okay so let me django rest apps ot ot like here so the django admin admin start start project okay start project now which project i want to start sir without the rest m okay without the rest m without rest the framework model m means model like i'm giving my own name okay like project is ready without the rest m okay cd without the rest m without the rest m m i'm taking now py manage.py py manage.py start the app test the app i'm taking sir now observe carefully start app test app i'm taking sir now what is the <coughs> sorry <coughs> what is the next thing i have to take care now observe a bit very carefully sir without the rest m okay without the rest m settings.py inside settings.py let me add first our application otherwise we may forget okay i added test app okay next after this what is the next one let me go for models.py i hope you people may aware sir where we have to define okay model classes for our database table models.py okay inside models.py class do you know employee i'm taking employee easiest easiest model i want to take sir later if you want we can do next level easiest just because we have to habitize the terminology first django terminology that's why let me take 
class employee ah uh, can you please tell what i have to take some modal sadar ah uh, wait respond modal sadar modal modal like this right class employee modal sadar modal sir e num is equal to e num is equal to sir modal sadar can you please tell what is what is what is the field sir modal sadar integer field correct right modal sadar integer field next e name e name is equal to modal sadar character field are you getting modal sadar character field char field of okay sir can you please tell max length is required or not yes compulsory max length is equal to some 64 characters i am taking sir okay e num e name next e shall e address e shall okay e shall i am taking e shall e address but the shall is again what is the type sir float the field what the type float field next e address e address modal sir dot do you know care field of same that sir sir this is this is what is the modal modal class what i am taking any doubt all the people are in a position to understand right okay that's all this is uh, so aryan file file field next uh, date time all those things first uh, our intention is not to not to explore the modal fields so api terminology i want to introduce that's why just uh, aware let me take a small as small as possible okay now that's all this is the table what i'm going to take what is the next thing we have to take care okay so compulsory we have to perform migrations make migrations and migrate and migrate what is the difference between make migrations and migrate can you please tell what the difference between make migrations and migrate make migrations is the responsible to generate sql query are you getting to generate sql code migrate is the responsible to execute that code so that database tables will be created okay make migrations just to generate sql code so migrate to execute that sql code automatically database database tables will be created okay like now observe now have a look once sir i want to perform py okay manage that py py manage that py make migrations make migrations okay now observe that yes create a model employee create model employee the corresponding code is available inside here okay now py manage dot py next uh, migrate are you getting migrate py manage dot py migrate like this right now take very special care okay now the database tables got my i mean the database table got created i want to check in the admin admin console first let me create super user okay or otherwise first register our model in the admin interface okay register our model in the admin admin interface okay like can you please guide the, what i have to take is from test app dot models import import employee import employee now here class uh, employee employee admin of admin dot uh, can you please sir admin dot uh, admin dot model admin admin dot model admin m a admin dot model admin okay list display okay List display is equal to list display is equal to sir we have done first one in num comma e name comma e shall okay comma e address like this something okay. sir even for every table d django will add one special column anyone can you please tell i forgot the name d django will add one special column what is that column sir which is that column access a primary key that column acts as a primary key. One column will be added. What is that column, sir? ID. Are you getting what is that column? ID. Now I want to show in the admin interface even that ID also. That's it. ID, enum, enum, 
is your e address right next uh, so can you please register admin dot site dot register register employee comma employee admin sir employee comma employee admin both the things got registered okay so admin interface i registered my employee right so now the next thing what i have to take let me create super user okay py manage.py create super user create super user okay so my user name durga durga next the uh, email address not required password durga123 next the uh, password durga123 like this perfect super user created successfully what is the next thing i have to take care what is the next one i have to take care let me start the server let me start the server py manage.py run server okay let me start the server manage.py run server okay server will be started next uh, let me open admin console 127 slash admin abjad here durga i'm taking next turn of brother durga 123 okay durga durga 123 yes so employees got the table got created no no data sir now i require to add data here okay well sir let me add some data let me start our journey with the employee name sunny employee salary thousand employee address mumbai like this okay now save and add another okay 200 next uh, sir bunny i'm taking next uh, 2000 salary here 2000 i'm taking e address hyderabad like this i'm taking sir hyderabad like save now save and add 300 i'm taking employee name chinni next uh, 3000 like this i'm taking next employee address okay hyderabad like next uh, 400 okay employee name winnie i'm taking winnie i'm taking employee salary 4000 employee address uh, is bangalore like i'm taking that's all sir sir now take very special care okay total how many how many records are there in my database four records are there now for these four records happily you can perform sir which operations right CRUD, CRUD operations we require to perform by using API. Remember this one. So, the terminology is very clear for you, not required to keep much explanation up to this. We did, sir, this one multiple times. Can you please tell any doubt up to this? Please confirm. Any doubt up to this? Please respond. Any doubt? Okay, well. Sir, now what I want to do is the first first operation okay crud crud operations right let me take uh, easiest operation r r r operation r means uh, read retry are you getting first operation performing performing retry operation retry retry operation right so to perform retry operation compulsory okay which thing must be required i mean i mean in the class based view what thing i have to take sir here two two retrievals are there based on id can you please retry okay get a particular record are you getting get get a particular record get a particular record based on based on matched id based on matched id id one way one way second one sir get the all records get the all records like this we have to take care are you getting so what is the first one sir first one is get a particular record based on the id get all records so how many get methods are required sir two get methods are required that's why two class based reviews we have to go for as of now at the beginning just the event sir sir now my concentration is now my concentration is sir first one i want to talk first one i want to talk sir get based on matched id okay how we can we can be able to do that what is the how to write a view function have a look once sir observe very carefully let me go to views.py okay here 
class class okay here i'm taking employee employee okay you want the details of your particular employee that's why detail employee detail cpv i'm taking if you are going to take employee detail cpv compulsory it should be child class of user so every class based view should be child class of you i hope you you may aware can you please tell which import statements we require to take from django dot ah can i can spell out sir from django dot why respond view views views dot ah uh, views dot ah uh, generic views dot generic import views sir import view view that's it okay now class based view is ready ready sir sir which request which one i have to take which one i require to take so i want to send the to my partner application sir observe that i'm always uh, thinking about partner application i'm defining api api i'm api developer but not the uh, django application developer so i'm i'm thinking about my partner application i have to provide to my partner application so a particular employee information in the form of in the form of json this is about my requirement right so if a partner application if a partner application sir assume this is the partner application this is the django application if the partner application call get get then immediately sir a particular record information i have to send to this person in the form of json that's about my requirement right what i'm trying to take is def get def get can you please tell what is the syntax for the get method please confirm self comma request star args sir here star star keyword args keyword keyword args like this i'm taking sir okay now what my requirement is observe very carefully sir i want to send i want to send the first employee record first employee record information everything i'm hard coding later i will make it a generalization right so i want to send the first employee information okay like so first let me import employee model from test app dot models from test app dot models import import employee okay like import employee like now my target is yes observe that so emp is equal to sir can you please tell id is a one 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 first employee id is one how to get the first employee information anyone can you please guide how to get the first employee information why what is the django query i require to write yes friends can you please tell hmm you have to you have to confirm what is the code i have to write request dot objects dot all nand kishore you forgot it seems django <laughs> i want to get i want to get okay first employee information what is the ways first employee information employee dot objects dot employee dot objects dot get get of id is equal to 1 so first employee information we are getting sir okay but first employee information we are getting we are getting sir now this employee information i want to send to this employee information i want to send to i want to i want to send to sir partner application but uh, to send uh, to partner application compulsory my data should be in the form of please confirm compulsory my data should be in the form of json but to create json dictionary must be required to create json dictionary must be required must be required that's why data data is a uh, here mp data mp data here just i'm taking mp data is equal to is equal to mp data is equal to here first one enum enum emp dot enum first one 
EMP dot enum enum sir first we require to create dictionary and then you can convert that dictionary into json by using dumps sir are you facing any voice problem is my audio is clear yes friends yeah good so now observe sir first we require to we require to we require to sir first we have to convert this employee information into dictionary okay e num e name is all e address okay second one e name is emp dot e name next uh, e shall is emp dot uh, e shall okay e address is e address is emp dot e address that's all sir so all the people are in a position what i'm doing regarding what what i'm trying to do sir so this employee object data converting into dictionary okay employee object data converting into dictionary sir after converting into dictionary what i have to take sir convert this python dictionary into json object convert this python dictionary into json object can you please guide the how to convert into json object json dot dumps we require to use so first step import json regarding first step import json okay well now sir json data is equal to json dot what is the method what the method what the function we require to call json dot ah dumps regarding json dot dumps dumps of emp data that's it now employee data converting into json employee data converting into json json now now i have to provide okay this is json data to my end user i mean to my partner application return return http response return http response response a ah. return http response a ah. json data json data but first http response is required to import that's why from the django dot http import http response from the django dot import import http response return http response of json data comma content type comma content content type is equal to anyone can you tell sir content type is equal to application by please respond application by json that's all simple simple okay sir now i wrote api api method so if any partner application call get method happily happily do you know it is going to provide employee information in the form of json any doubt please confirm all the people are in a position to understand okay sir now how my partner application can send partner application can send the request compulsory i have to define url pattern compulsory we require to define url pattern let me open urls.py let me open urls urls.py okay here from test app import import views from test app import views now let me take slash api slash api okay views dot views dot what is that views are employee detail view dot the yes view yes view like this right that's it url pattern is also clear okay i define for class based view url pattern also okay here just observe that carefully sir here this is this is about that so in views dot py what i'm what i'm trying to take sir get method i'm defining so i got first employee record that employee data converted into employee dictionary 
Now that employee is not I'm converting into JSON, now I'm providing JSON to the partner application, return JSON data. Suresh, getting? Okay, now I'm trying to define URL pattern. I'm trying to define URL pattern. This is the URL pattern and it is the class based view. And it is the class based view. That's why we have to take like this. Okay, well, now let me write the partner application. Partner application, anywhere you can write, why don't you make uh, for our testing purpose as a part of this application only, this project only. That's why without the rest M, here I'm taking partner, partner application. What the partner applications are? Test.py, like this I'm taking, sir, test, test.py. Okay, like, like I'm trying to take. Sir, now take a bit very special care. Can you please tell partner application code? Partner, partner application code, can you please guide? Yes, friends. Okay, import. Can you please guide? Import. Ah, import request. Import request. Request. Next and after that, import JSON also. Maybe JSON is not required. Import request. Okay, like. Sir, now what I have to what what I have to do is let me take def def. I'm taking get 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 the resource just i'm defining a function sir get a resource resource but first uh, what i have to take sir base url base url is equal to http base url is equal to http 127 .0 .0 .1, colon 8000 okay right. next up, what is the end point this is a very important sir End point is what is the end point, sir? What is the end point? Can you please observe that? Ah, API. Are you getting API? API is the end point. Okay. Here API itself is the end point. End point, sir. URL pattern is called end point. End point. API. Okay. Here end point is API. Okay. Now get the resource. I'm trying to take get resource right. Now, very, very simple, sir. Let me send the request. Request response is equal to uh, request dot. Can you please guide, sir? Request dot get get of base URL plus end point. Base URL plus end point we have to take. Are you getting that, sir? Now I got the response. From the response, if you want, you can ask. Uh, rest for dot status code sir what is the status code we are getting sir i hope you may aware status codes you may aware status codes already i told maybe in the last session sir otherwise just a bit a bit simple sir okay here again again this one just two minutes sir. you should aware this one okay do you know whenever we are sending a request Whenever we are sending a request, a request from the client, client to server, client to server, server will provide response. Now, the status code represents the status of this response. The status code is going to represent status, status of this response. Is it success or is it error? Is it redirection? Like it's always going to provide status of the response. Sir, now, how many status codes are possible? One XX is possible. Two XX, XX 200, 201, 202, 299, like that. Three XX is possible. Four XX is possible. Five XX is possible. Okay. So 100, 100 to 199, 200 to 299, 300 to 399, 400 to 499, 599, like that. Sir, these are possible status codes. One XX means informational. Informational. What is the meaning of informational? What it means? What it means? What is the meaning? Meaning of informational is, sir, sometimes you may get uh, just the information message. Don't close browser. Don't close browser. It may take some time to process. Sometimes you may get information. Sometimes you may get information from the server. Okay, it is not the original required response. Just the informational. 
then we should go for 1x x 2x x means a boss success success successful if if we are getting 2x x means uh, do you know so client is going to feel very happy oh my required response i'm getting happily displayed to the end user are you getting my required response i'm getting happily displayed displayed to the end user then we should go for 2x x remember this one now 3 xx means uh, redirectional redirectional what it means is what is the what is the meaning of redirectional sir very very simple very very simple sir so uh, here sima status codes are that thing is more enough it is not required it is not required okay like even even in the success also there are multiple types of success will be there sometimes you may ask can you please create resource delete resource like so every time 200 201 202 11 1 code is reserved to represent one type of one type of action which is succeeded getting right sima so that's why uh, 200 to 299 informational means uh, just a server is going to provide information message something like so uh, server processing the request it may take some time please wait don't close the browser don't close the browser just information information it is not the original response from the from the server just informational messages if you if the server want to share then 1xx is the status code what is the meaning of redirectional okay here one small thing i have to tell if you observe google.com if i'm sending the request to google.com google google.com do you know the request will goes to google.co.in do you know right if i send a request to google.com automatically the request will be redirected to google.co.in but these days i don't think uh, maybe they changed some redirection settings it seems okay google.com now sorry it is not the redirecting earlier earlier it is directly redirected to google.co.in means uh, sir here observe if the client uh, sending a request assume that client uh, sending a request to to server to server sir client sends a request to server now what the server will do are i am not right person i am not right person can you please contact can you please contact some other person can you please contact uh, s2 can you please contact s2 like uh, i this server want to convey response how how it is going to convey that response is by using 3x access status code using 3x access status code by seeing this status code what the client is going to do yes it will communicated with the it will communicated with the second second server now the second server is going to provide the required 2x x response are you getting right this type of activity is nothing but redirection okay so this first person is telling boss i'm not responsible can you please contact for s2 can you please contact for s2 like if you are sending the request to google.com google.com what it will convey to the browser is Hey, for India people, I'm not right person. Can you please contact to Google.co.in? Can you please contact to Google.co.in? How this contact is going to be? How this? Uh, it is going to send that request here yes, by using this three x x status code. Anywhere in our web programming, three x x means uh, redirection. Remember that. Are you able to understand, friends? clear what is the meaning of redirection okay best example here best of best example sir let me let me open another another here i am taking now of the http 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 colon http colon google.com google.com i am sending the request google google.com now of the now i am going to get some response now i will get some response right in that response in that in that response if you observe what is this one what is the status code i am getting can you please observe it very carefully sir 
301 status code. 301 status code. What it means is redirection. 301 status code. What it means is redirection. That's what, what you people should be very clearly right. Any doubt? Okay, this is a 301. Okay, like that. But if you can ask her, 200 success code also maybe maybe there internally 301 moved moved means uh, this is clear 301 redirection actually google.com is internally redirected to somewhere else okay sir now take a bit very very special care sir this is a redirectional 4xx Oh, this one everyone can aware. Everyone can aware about this 4xx. What is the what is the meaning of 4xx, right? Ah, can you please tell? Can you please tell? So somewhere you are getting, somewhere, somewhere you are you are getting page not found, page not found, resource not found, resource not found, page not found. Somewhere you are going to get one small thing. I want to I want to ask you, sir. Here I'm asking, just uh, observe that. I'm asking, sir, here. What what I'm trying to take? Durga soft videos dot com. Durga soft videos dot com. Am I going to get in the response or not? It is the success response. It is the success success response, right? Do you know? It is the 200 200 status code response. If you want a HTTP HTTP. Now I'm asking HTTP Durga soft videos dot com. Now observe that I'm going to get the response. I will get the response. But what response I'm going to get, sir? 200. Have you observed right? 200. 200 means uh, status code. 200 means uh, success. At the top already you saw. You saw the response. Of course, it is totally the response only. HTML response. It is totally the HTML response. 200. 200 means what? Success. 200 means what? Success. Success response right. Okay. Please make make sure you should you should aware about 200 status code right. Successful response. But now my question is ledger response. Now my question is durgasoftvideos.com slash ddddddd I'm asking sir. <laughs> Can you please observe that? Slash ddddddd like this I'm asking. Now what will happen? Please confirm. Now what will happen? Your response. What will happen? Immediately you are going to get page not found. Regarding immediately you are going to get page not found or uh, have you observed right page not found? Oops. Error page 404. Oops, the page cannot be cannot be found. Are you getting? Oops, page cannot be cannot be found. One minute. Let me send the, the request. Okay. Here, HTTP, HTTP. Now I'm sending the request. Now I'm sending the request. What will happen? Observe a bit very carefully, sir. Now the response is 404, 404, status code not found. Okay, well. Now I have one small doubt, sir. Sir, is it the error or not? Can you please confirm? Please respond. Is it the error or not? Error or not? Error only. Whose mistake it is? Whose mistake it is? Please confirm. Whose mistake it is? Client mistake or server mistake? Client mistake or server mistake? Not server mistake, client mistake. Array 404 means uh, array stupid client. You are not sending the request properly. Please send your request properly. Okay. So you are you, you are requesting a resource. You are requesting a resource which is not available. First, please send a valid request. Like uh, so, it is a client mistake only. That's why here please make sure. 4xx means a client error. Are you getting 4xx means what? Client error. Error. Remember this one. Okay. So client error. Similarly, somewhere we saw 403. 403 CSRF token or cookie error. Somewhere you are saying correct. 403 because you didn't send the CSRF token. That's why. I won't accept this mistake. I won't accept this request. Uh, like my server is going to tell. My middleware is going to tell. Whose mistake it is? Client mistake only. Client mistake only, boss. You didn't send a CSRF token. How I can accept this request? Are you getting right? 
okay so wherever for not for 400 series you are getting call the client give left and right array first you should aware how to send proper request okay like now 5xx means 5xx means server error are you getting server error so boss client is sending the request properly only properly only but there is some problem at server side maybe server down or maybe inside inside while executing some exceptions got raised okay server error 5xx if a server error is coming client is going to call the server and the client will give left and right to the server person observe the difference very clearly sir are you getting total how many how many what are various possible status codes are there what are various possible status codes are there okay these are the five status codes are possible remember you be very very careful about this one so if for anywhere for xx is coming being api developer being application developer we are not required to worry it is a client mistake if you are getting 5xx oh we have to take special care there is something goes wrong in our side same way 2xx are successful 3xx are redirectional just that these words compulsory you people should be aware you have to inject in your mind clear right yes nanda kishore several times you are going to see don't worry about that okay so redirectional means which one redirectional means which which one which which is status code redirectional 3xx client error means client error means 4xx Sir, server error means 5xx successful message means success message means 2xx okay remember now if you want the open the google open the google http status codes http status codes okay you can ask uh, yes http status codes okay here just uh, observe observe a bit carefully observe a bit very very carefully sir okay here just uh, very brief one x x it means uh, request has been received and the process is continuing two x x x means uh, it means the action was uh, successfully received understood and accepted so no it is a successful response okay remember their mistake it is 3xx so it means further action must be taken in order to complete the request no sir whose website it is tutorial file give left and right to these people okay <laughs> okay now just uh, observe this here list of http status codes okay now here you know 1 1 at 1 100 continue 1 at 1 1 at 2 processing early hints something like a, an informational response so received understood it issues a provisional basis something like it is so now 200 okay 201 created 202 accepted 203 non otherative information no content it is a successful but there is no content something like that 3xx means uh, redirection redirection moved permanently 302 303 304 4xx means uh, bad request 400 bad request unauthorized payment required 402 payment required 403 not found 403 forbidden forbidden like somewhere forbidden 404 not found something like that so all 5xx means uh, server error 500 internal server error now find out for not implemented bad gateway service and available something like that everyone in the position to understand right very important sir these are five status codes compulsory you people should aware any doubt okay yep, yep, uh, apart from what they already other than this no status codes in the web area until and unless we are creating <laughs> in the web area means these are the only possible status codes only these are the possible ranges 
okay now come back to our story because slowly we have to you have to aware each and everything sir now come back to our story now sir i wrote the view function to get the employee data i wrote view function to get employee data now i'm trying to write the client sir i got the response get resource i performed get call i got the response next uh, print of respond dot respond dot json respond dot json now that the server provided i mean that the django provided response uh, i'm trying to print are you getting json json response uh, so this json json i mean so api provided response uh, i'm trying to print okay now what is my thing is get the resource like this sometime yeah can you please tell any doubt yes can you please confirm any doubt okay everything is clear for you people right okay thirumalai so don't execute parallel link better to practice with pleasant mind don't execute parallel link better better to listen carefully and observe each and every line okay well now sir that's all here sima what is the what is the problem what is the problem it is okay i'm not going to communicate just uh, it is uh, it is what what we can use the word uh, uh it is through api i'm com i'm communicating so this person never going to touch my django application just uh, this application is sending http request to that sir are you getting if i'm talking about code level this python never going to talk about django internal things sir it is just uh, sending one http request to that sir every application http request is going to be accepted sima get in the point get the code level one code to another code if you want to communicate code level sharing then cross context communication should be supported like but here i am sending http request that's it okay well now my doubt is sir json we are not required to import import i am not using json anywhere so this is the respond.json function okay i am not using json dot dumps i'm not using json dot i uh, what we call uh, loads like okay well now my target is observe let me start the server server is already in start no problem at all server is already start now let me send the request one minute it is a previous uh, http request oh. <laughs> previous http request don't worry this is not from our api for not for status code response thank god stop okay well now here just observe that let me go to my location sir cd rest apps ot next cd next what what we have without the rest m okay like sir py test dot py sir observe very very carefully sir py test dot py like this i'm taking now whenever i'm taking like this okay now first employee information am i getting or not first employee information am i getting or not yes perfect python application python application now got the information from the api okay json is always going to return in the form of dictionary that's why you are getting like this all the people are in a position to understand now what is the status code i got what is the status code i got okay the status code i got is 200 200 status code we are getting okay like that's all this is about the what you people what you people should be aware right okay then. now now resp.json will is uh, is going to return in the form of dictionary resp.json is always going to return in the form of dictionary not json 
okay then so now what is the next we how to we, i how to i how to tell what is the next point is legend very carefully sir in the views dot the py in the views dot py response is http response type okay now i don't want the id is equal to 1 i'm taking id is equal to 2 sir 2 i took now this client application will get the consumer application will get the sir second employee information if i can take uh, three sir if i can take a three three if i can take now third employee information this person is going to get regarding it's a very clear for all of you right any doubt any doubt up to this is the clear for all of you right okay well so now immediately you may ask the question sir here i don't want to hard code this id value i don't want to hard code one two three and so on the client is responsible to send that id based on that id based on that id he is going to provide response the client is the responsible the client itself is the responsible to provide id so how i can define get function which can take id as the argument here you can declare id observe very carefully sir here i am declaring id id argument in the get get next anyway id is coming now id is equal to id i'm taking okay id is equal to id so if you get the method you accept the id if you get the method you accept the id id then how to define url pattern how to define url pattern because because through url pattern only so id should come because url pattern is responsible to invoke this get now let me go for like can you please how to accept id anyone anyone at our childhood somewhere we covered in our blog application inside the django uh, inside the django like sir here i want to provide access to access i want to provide the id also sir this id is what type what type what type digits digits any sequence of digits sir. do you know have you aware this type of group reg, group regular pattern group regular expression pattern sir which variable you are passing id this id is what type digit uh, how many digits are allowed any number of digits getting are you able to understand okay p it is the regular expression predefined predefined id this id is what types are like so now api api and then here we require to take this part api and then we have to take this one followed by if you want you can followed by dollar so after id we are not passing anything that's all so this is the pattern we require to take sir okay let me update this let me update this one can you please have a look once r api slash sir id next dollar dollar like this right i'm taking that's it now who is the responsible to send id who is the responsible to send this id ah partner application client is the responsible now let me open test let me open test here id okay now i require to pass id id okay i'm passing some one or two or three sir now if you want you can accept the yeah the input also no problem at all as input also if you want you can you can you can ask sir you can ask sir id is equal to input of enter enter some id enter some id 
okay like like you can you can ask enter some id like you can ask sir so now now so this id i'm passing this id i'm passing now this id should be part of url id should be part of url okay sir this is already there plus api slash will be there plus id will be there plus plus uh, at last the slash also you require to take that's it now do you know this one looks like uh, this one looks like observe observe a bit carefully sir observe a bit carefully base url means this is the base url so base url replaced with the, the corresponding value okay well now end point means this is the end point end point is replaced with the end point is replaced with the, this one next the id assume that i provided id as the one id as the one one that's all are you getting now your url looks like like this are you in the position to understand right okay this is if you want to send the from partner application let me send this one from the browser from the browser i want to send this request let me send this request from the browser okay now i'm trying to send the request from the browser yes friend am i getting the response am i getting the response okay like suppose let me take two sir instead of one i'm taking two sir now second person like okay now my api is in a position to accept id also so that i will get the corresponding the corresponding employee person id any doubt okay all the people are in a position position to understand right let me execute python let me execute my python application enter some id enter some id to sir then 200 enter some id 3 sir 3 3 3 status code is the 200 employee number 300 like this enter some code 4 sir 4 then what will happen then what will happen enter some id enter some id 45 <laughs> what will happen 45 either me 45 employee 45 id id record is not there not there now observe this one some error some error how you can handle this one that part i will take care don't worry that part i will take care sir we require to handle how this in the next the slowly we will get that. but as of now sir only available records am i able to get or not that's what you should aware so any doubt about this terminology all the people are in a position to understand up to this okay now this is the api it is not doing any business logic sir it is the api we are developing so that by using this api any person any third party person can able to get my employee data yes why not aryan we can okay now there is one beautiful concept i require to start what the concept is up to this is the terminology the very very clear for you people right now i have one small i have one one small one small things are there here like now what the point is here do you know what i'm doing i got employee object now listen carefully sir i got employee object this employee object we are trying to convert into python dictionary this python dictionary we are converting into json we are trying to convert into json so employee object convert into dictionary under that dictionary we are trying to convert into json do you know this process is called serialization this process is called serialization remember this one sir what is this process this process itself is nothing but one serialization remember this one okay so converting an object from 
one form to another form is called serialization okay so in python terminology pickling we can use but anyway it is the word in api concept serialization okay converting python dict object to to json object okay itself is nothing but serialization any doubt are you getting the word what is serialization if any person is going to ask what is serialization what is serialization then immediately you should be in a position to answer sir. serialization is a nothing but converting an object from one form to another form converting python dictionary to python converting python dictionary to uh, to json object okay that is the best example for serialization right now do you know here just observe I have an employee record is there, sir. This employee record converting into dictionary, converting into dictionary. This dictionary converting into JSON. Okay. One employee record you can convert into dictionary. It's a very easy. It's a, it's a very easy. Yes, currently it is applicable only for dict. Again, maybe in the future I may discuss, but as of now, dict. Now do you know, sir, converting one one employee information converting one employee information is this much code we have to write okay suppose if it is a query set if it is a query set query set if i use employee dot objects dot all employee dot objects dot all all if i use employee dot objects dot all it is going to provide multiple employee objects then every employee convert into dictionary and then convert into json wow it is a very dangerous activity are you able to get right so if my if my table contain one lakh records getting all those one lakh records converting into performing serialization it is a bigger problem sir that's why to overcome this problem so a list of records a list of employee objects a list of employee objects if you want to perform if you want to convert into json there is one speciality there is one one concept is there sir what is that concept is there is a b django inbuilt module what is the module here serializers what the module name what the module name can you please tell what the module name serializers it is a d django inbuilt module not python inbuilt module D Django inbuilt module, sir. Inbuilt inbuilt module is there. Serializers, okay. Serializers module contain one method. What is the method, sir? Serialize is the method. Regarding serializers module contain serialize is the method by using this one. We can convert query set into JSON very easily, sir. Okay. What we have to take is JSON data is equal to is equal to serializers serializers dot serialize dot serialize. Okay. Serializers dot serialize. Can you please convert into JSON? Can you please convert into JSON? Which one I have to convert into JSON, sir? Query set. If you convert Query set. If you if you want to convert query set into JSON, a simple one line. We are not required to do big activity. Is it very useful facility, right? It is very useful facility, right? Yes. We are not required. We are not required to do big big code. That is the biggest advantage. What we are going to get. Thoda thoda clarity, friends. Okay. Now why don't you apply? same concept for our existing thing why don't you apply same clarity same same concept for our existing thing first we require to import from from uh, can you please tell sir d django from d django here there is one inbuilt module is there what is that inbuilt module is from d django dot yes there is one special package is there what is that uh, special special package is okay d django dot 
dot the core dot the serializers serializers import import okay what the serialize regarding import serialize region go dot core dot serializers import the serialize import serialize okay now this total nonsense i want to comment i want to comment okay later i will remove that also don't worry sir json data json data is equal to serializers serializers uh, serialize directly you can call serialize of json comma it is always expecting query set which is the list list in that list just a pass emp okay because here here we have only one employee you have only we have only one employee object one employee object that's why can you please pass that employee in the form of list that's it okay why you have to worry about this much code can i remove can i remove okay like this everyone in the position to understand sir okay emp itself is an object not very set that's why i'm converting into list style session i'm not passing directly emp i'm passing emp in the form of list which is the query set something like query set is a list of employee records now let me execute whether it's going to work or not yes filter also you can use session no problem okay now have you have a look once sir if it is the case if i did that change let me execute my python application okay enter employee perfect perfect now employee so data we are getting sir employee employee data we are we are getting employee data we are getting sir model name model name model name primary key fields model name primary key fields like this complete data we are going to get complete complete data we are going to get clear right so now now i don't want this bloody extra information i want only this one okay how you can do that part also i will take care don't worry sir clear right suppose there is uh, one more thing is there there is one more one more thing is there sir it is the list of list of okay like have you observed right this is the list of employee records something like there is one more one more facility is there what is that facility is do you know uh, in this record how many fields are available generally every employee having how many fields every employee having how many fields for employee number employee name employee salary employee address assume that i don't want to highlight i don't want to highlight employee salary so to my partner application i don't want to provide employee salary only three fields i want what you have to take is comma fields fields is equal to fields is equal to sir which fields you want enum i want enum i want next e name i want next e address i want that's all <laughs> if you can specify like this only specified fields only will be converted into json that json data will send to the partner application okay partner application can't see employee salary are you getting partner application can't see employee salary okay security security are you getting now have a look once have a look look once id if you want id that's what whatever fields you specify whatever fields we specify only that fields data only will go here yeah, observe that observe observe this one here yeah, i'm taking emp comma fields comma fields is equal to fields is equal to enum i want next e name i want next the e sal sorry e address i want e address i want maybe maybe so here e address i want exclude attribute am i acceptable or not i'm not sure observe 
now let me run this code now let me run this code enter sum 2 now observe what data we are getting what data we are getting have you observed are you seeing anywhere anywhere employee salary are you seeing anywhere employee salary no no employee salary is not set like that employee salary is not going to send to the client he says so is the exclude attribute is it going to accept or not i'm not sure they just want let me let me cross check exclude exclude okay like like i'm taking yes let me send the request exclude all these fields then only remaining salary will be displayed let me cross check to no are you getting right some some problem are you getting it's a very clear exclude is not there so compulsory we require to take fields only okay exclude is available available exclude is available in the form of what uh, exclude is available in somewhere in the model model forms which fields meta class model fields exclude all like but here it is not accepting fields only whatever fields you want just to specify those fields if you are not going to specify these field then then complete data will send it to the client complete data will send it to the client observe this one perfect clear right okay but now yes yes sir for the client what is the need of specifying this model name application name primary key all this nonsense <laughs> are you getting all this nonsense if if we are going to provide all this information maybe security constraints correct right security constraints maybe maybe because our application name we are highlighting our model name we are highlighting are getting right sir moreover client is also not feeling that much comfortable i'm asking this data why you are providing all this nonsense i don't want yes friends there is a way we can do that don't worry so there we require to use our python skill remember that okay i will do that don't worry just only required information only he is my client is going to get so from this discussion up to this whatever i covered you people should be aware very very clearly sir okay what is the how to use uh, how to how to get uh, a single employee data okay specified employee data based on id sir retrieve is the operation just we started the cinema in the sir django inbuilt serialized function is also i used okay remember but to get all the records what is the code we require to write that part we will discuss in detail 